creative push there from Ryan Jin Yue. Uh, it was the new player that was rather on the back foot there, Yurie Nabea. Was not expecting that. I don't think too many were. It was a really deep push as well. Just swatted at it. Very effective. Stabbed at it. Well, that's one she might remember for the future. China now with Lee. Initiative goes to the Chinese here. And Zhu Ting. They keep it alive. Kuroga, though, can't find a winner. Zhu Ting again. And got it. And China now surely have this match exactly where they want it. Stubborn resistance from Japan in this third set. Refuse to go quietly. They may not yet go quietly. Wonderful pick up there from Wang. And look at that. Driving through from the back door. Li Ying Ying takes China. Two match points. Terrific dig from the Ivero Rat, uh, Wang. And that is an authoritative straight down Main Street kill to take China to set point. point in fact Shooting finishes the job and as expected China took their place in another Asian Games women's volleyball final well, the scoreboard won't, won't really reflect just how hard they were pushed in the first and the third sets. The Lang Bing side have got through and been given a bit of an examination at times there. They really had to come back in that first set. This is how the match finished. Yeah, fittingly enough, it was shooting. It was not going to be denied from there. Great elevation. And the put away. And uh, then it's Bring on Thailand, let's go for gold. So, as expected, China qualify for the Asian Games final without dropping a set. Although they came very close in the first set here when Japan had that big late lead big, relatively speaking, of course. Three points is huge when you're leading and playing against China. They couldn't hold on to it, and when that first set slipped away, you knew that it was probably their best and only opportunity. So China back to a gold medal match, having wrapped up this one against Japan in straight sets.